Once again, Pastor Bob Reynolds here from the True Life Community Seventh-day Adventist Church in Denver, Colorado. You know, income tax time is the scariest time of the year for a lot of people. I remember the story of one couple who could not finish their income tax. And there was a question on there they couldn't answer. And the question was, who is the head of the household? <laughs> And they got that question again and again, and finally they, they wrote in the answer and said, we have been arguing over the answer to that question for 17 years, and when we figure it out, we'll let you know. Well, you know, the Bible, the Bible has the answer to that question. Who's the head of the household? Now, in a perfect world, of course, uh, the husband and the wife you know, they will agree on different things and, and uh, work things out between them. But in case things don't work out, you know, like, like it should, uh, the Bible tells us uh, this in Colossians. And it does, it tells us this in Ephesians and several other places too. It says, wives, submit to your own husbands as is fitting. I think this is important. As is fitting in the Lord. In other words, sometimes the husband is really not capable. Sometimes he's incapacitated or maybe he's gone. Maybe there's a divorce. Maybe the, the uh, mother, the wife has to be the head. And then it says, husbands, love your wives and do not be bitter toward them. In other words, there's a love relationship there that uh, allows them to work things out together, uh, hopefully, usually. And then for the children, it says, children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing to the Lord. So God kind of sets down the hierarchy there. And like I say, in a perfect world, uh, the husband and wife usually agree on these things, but sometimes there's, uh, there's difficulties. And so the wives submit to their husbands, the husbands love their wives, and uh, sort of uh, earn that respect and that position, and children obey both parents. So let's pray that as we think about our own family structures, that we will be able to, to come to you know, agreements on things where, where there might be contention. And that's my prayer for us today. Let's pray that God will help us in our decision-making processes in our home, shall we? Father, we thank you so much for the privilege that we have of using our brains and our minds to make decisions. And I just pray for our families, our husbands and our wives and our children. Help them, Lord, to all understand that uh, you are the head of the church. You are the head of all of us. You have created us. You've put us together. Help us, Lord, to obey your commands to us. In Jesus' name, amen.